happy Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. I want to give Mom a surprise. My card is ready. But uh, yes, Mom loves chocolate pudding. I will make a chocolate pudding for Mom before she returns home. Wonder where Mom keeps her recipe book? Here it is. How difficult can it be to whip up a chocolate pudding, right? Oh no, this looks difficult. How will I make the pudding? Mom will be home in two hours. Yes, I know what to do. Who better to ask for help than the chef himself? It's Gizmo time. Well, hello. Why have I been summoned here? Hi, I am JC. My name is Cyrus. It's a pleasure to meet you, JC. Oh, but why did you call me here? Cyrus, it's Mother's Day today, so I want to surprise my mom by making a chocolate pudding for her. I thought it would be quite easy, but now I don't understand how to do it. Of course you don't. Cooking is an art. Will you help me? Please Cyrus, it's for my mom. Well in that case, I will. Okay. So the ingredients say, I need 500 ml milk and 100 ml water. What does that mean? How do I know how much milk and water this is? Hmm. Take a look at these ingredients again. They're all liquid. Yes, they are. We always keep liquid in a container. Have you noticed that? Yes, of course. Since liquids are always kept in a container, we measure the quantity of a liquid in terms of the amount of space in the container the liquid takes up. Oh, so let me guess. If I had to find out the amount of water in this fish bowl, I'll have to find out the amount of space the water occupies in this fish bowl, right? Exactly. Do you know what this space is called? No. This is called capacity. Capacity is the amount of liquid a container can hold. Capacity, um... So can we measure the capacity of anything, Cyrus? Even the swimming pool at school? Yes, you can, JC. You can measure the capacity of anything big or small. Be it the oil in this tiny bottle or the amount of water in your school swimming pool. Wow! How do you do that? Hey! Does this ML have anything to do with it? Good question, JC. That's exactly what I was going to tell you next. ML means milliliter, which is a unit to measure capacity. Capacity is commonly measured using two units, liter and milliliter. Hmm, units. Oh, I get it. Just like we measure length using centimeter and meter, and weight using gram and kilogram, the units to measure liquids are liter and milliliter. Exactly. These units are part of the metric system of measurement. One liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Okay. So we write ml for milliliter and for liter we write, let me guess, L, right? Exactly. So suppose you see 5L written somewhere. This means 5 liters. Now, JC, let's start making the pudding. We need 500 milliliters of milk. Here's the milk bottle, Cyrus. It says here that it has 1 liter milk in it. How do we measure out 500 milliliters from it? 
there's a container called the measuring jug that allows you to measure liquids of any quantity you want, JC. But right now, we can do something even simpler. Like what, Cyrus? Remember what I just told you? One liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Um. So what would 500 milliliters be, JC? Come on, think hard. Uh, oh, it's so obvious. 500 milliliter is the same as half a liter. So we just take half of the milk in this one liter bottle. Exactly. I told you it was simple. Okay, Cyrus. Now we need 100 ml water. How do we measure that? Hmm. This time, we will use a measuring jug. Take a look at this, JC. This is a measuring jug. If you look carefully, you'll see lines on it which range from 0 ml to 1000 ml. Oh, yeah. The lines on it show capacity from 0 to 1000 milliliters. We can use it to measure capacities ranging from 0 to 1000 milliliters. All you need to do is pour the liquid you wish to measure in here so that it reaches up to the quantity you want. And this will give you the exact measure. Cool! So we can pour water till the mark 100. This will give us 100 ml of water. Okay Cyrus, I got it. Now we need 50 ml of sugar syrup. Shall I measure it using the measuring jug too? Thanks JC. Now come on, let's hurry up or we'll never finish this pudding till your mom gets home. The pudding is in the freezer JC. Half an hour and it'll be done. You'll have a nice surprise waiting for your mom when she gets home. Thanks for helping me Cyrus and thanks to you. I know all about capacity too. Oh, you think so, do you? Well, let me ask you some questions and check what you know. Okay. Alright then, answer me this. If you drink 200 milliliters of the juice every day, how much juice will you drink over 5 days? Uh, I know this. I just need to add 200 milliliters 5 times. Or? 200 added 5 times is the same as multiplying 200 by 5. So I drink uh, 200 multiplied by 5. That is 1000 milliliters of juice in 5 days. Hey, that's the same as 1 liter. Absolutely correct, JC. That was great. Okay, now one more question. Let's see if you can answer this as well. Okay. You want to use a bucket to fill water in a huge tub. The bucket can hold 600 milliliters of water. If you pour water from the bucket 8 times into the tub before you can fill it completely. What's the capacity of the tub? Let's see if 8 buckets hold 600 milliliters of water each. Then the total amount of water all the buckets hold is 600 milliliters multiplied by 8. That is 4800 milliliters. Yes, exactly. But can you tell me how much this would be in liter and milliliter? Uh, give me a hint Cyrus. Okay, listen. 4800 milliliters is equal to 4000 milliliters plus 800 milliliters. Now, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So? Hey, I got it. If 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter, 
This means that 4000 milliliters is equal to 4 liters. Right? Right. So, 4800 milliliters will be the same as 4 liters and 800 milliliters. Great! You know what, JC? I believe you. You know capacity now. Hey, do I hear someone at the door? It must be mom. She's back. Quick, JC, send me back to my book. She must not find out that I helped you. Bye, Cyrus. Bye. Jesse, are you there? I'm home. You know what? Mom loved the pudding. She was so surprised. I had so much fun talking to Cyrus about capacity. Here's what he told me. Capacity is the amount of space occupied by any liquid. The two common units for measuring capacity are liter and milliliter. One liter is equal to thousand milliliters. 